If you've ever filmed some drone footage thinking it's going to look absolutely amazing just to get back to your workstation and realise that it looks like your drone's only about 10 feet off the floor, then hopefully this quick Premiere Pro tutorial can give you a nice little trick to improve just how epic that footage can look. Hi guys and welcome back to Editor's Life and today we're going to be looking at introducing some fake clouds into drone footage to make it look more interesting and to make the footage look a lot higher and we're also going to look at part in the clouds in an attempt to reveal the focal part of the shot. First we need to add our footage to the timeline so I'm going to drag it into the composition and then I'm going to scale it to fit so I'm going to go to effects controls and we're going to scale it to about 50%. Next I'm going to drag in some clouds and for these I just found some free ones on Google. You can just search clouds PNG, there's loads you can use. And we're just going to scale them up a little bit. So I'm going to scale them just above 100% to about 108. And then we're going to change the blending mode to screen. So because there's no motion tracking or 3D cameras inside Premiere Pro like you get in After Effects, we're going to have to animate these clouds and we're going to have to eyeball what looks right in relation to the video clip's movement. This whole video tutorial is about compositing these properly into shot and to make them look as realistic as possible. So make sure you watch all the way through as there might be one or two little tips throughout that relates more to your footage. So this clip looks a little bit slow to me at the moment so I'm just going to right click and speed it up to about 250% and then we'll use the first 6 seconds. So since the camera is moving forward here, we'd essentially be getting closer to the clouds so the best option is to simply scale them up. For this shot, because we're getting twice as close to the stadium as the starting point, I'm going to double the size of the clouds. So we're going to start at about 108%. We'll go towards the end and just make that about 220. And then we'll drag this keyframe right to the end of the clip. And we'll take a look at how that looks. And that's looking pretty accurate in terms of scale. This is the part that's pretty important to get right because if you scale too quickly or too slowly, it won't look like you're moving towards them. But I'm just going to add a little 2% rotation as well because the camera doesn't move perfectly straight. So we'll start at 2% go to the end and we'll put it back to zero. The camera also looks like it tilts down a little bit so we're going to go to our effects panel. We're going to search basic 3D. Drag that onto your clouds layer and then I think we'll start at about 6% tilt so start at about 6% and set a keyframe. Go to the end and put that to zero and we'll see how that's looking. So in our shot the stadium is the focal point so what I want to do is create an opacity mask around this. So holding shift once you've clicked that circle you'll make a perfect circle shape and then invert it. We're going to tone the opacity down a little bit so I'm going to go to about 75% and then we're going to set a keyframe for the feather and mask expansion at the beginning. I'm going to make the feather quite strong so I'm going to go to about 270% roughly. Then we'll go right to the end of the shot and set another keyframe. And then going back to the beginning, what I want to do is obscure the stadium a little bit. So I'm going to pull the mask expansion in just to make it look like it's appearing from behind the clouds. And we'll also increase the feather a little bit more as well. You can tweak these to suit your footage, but it's looking a lot more realistic here. And finally, I don't know if you've ever looked out of a plain window when it's been going through clouds, but you'll notice that as you go through some thicker or thinner clouds and the, the sunlight hits them differently, you get different levels of brightness. So I'm just going to add a little bit more animation to this. So we're going to start with about a 75% opacity. We'll end on about 70. And in the middle we'll go all the way up to 85. I think the last thing to do here is to add a little bit of contrast to these clouds just to make the visible parts more visible. So we're just going to go to our colour grading options. And we'll just add a curves adjustment to these. And you can even add some more contrast using your basic corrections. So just add a little bit more here and then go back to editing. And that's all we should need to do with this shot in particular. The good thing about having this effect set up is you can quickly drag in any other shot. And as long as the speed of the camera is similar, you can get away with it. So if we just drag another shot in here just to demonstrate, I'll just duplicate this across and then we'll drag a different video in. You'll notice this effect still holds up pretty well on a different shot. So hopefully some of you found this Premiere Pro tutorial helpful and it's allowed you to revive some of your old drone footage. If you did find it helpful, leaving a like on the video would really help me out. And if you're interested in more content like this, feel free to subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you in the next one.